Hey YouTube, today I'm going to show you uh, what I did to make my own uh, hair powered vacuum pump. Uh, it's pretty simple, uh, maybe uh, people are calling this a venturi pump. You can use uh, maybe a liquid to do uh, the same, uh, but I'm going to use uh, my uh, compressed hair nozzle to uh, make this vacuum pump so uh, it's just super easy and it's logical uh, you have two tubing uh, one for sucking the air out and one for pumping sucking uh, the liquid uh, you want to get so uh, the bigger one I'm going to use it to put my hair nozzle in it uh, you need to use a tubing a bit bigger than the nozzle of course you can see uh, I have drilled a hole in the tubing the same size of my hair nozzle going in and look the direction is out so when I'm pressing uh, letting the air out it's gonna suck the air out of the can and by doing this uh, if your tube is in uh, the, any kind of liquid it's gonna pump it so just for showing you uh, for the purpose of showing you how it's working I'm gonna put it in the, some uh, whole transmission oil that I just sucked out of uh, my transmission and you will see while the air is gonna come out it's gonna suck hair and it's gonna suck the oil in the jar here watch this So as you can see it's working well. I uh, use this system to uh, suck the transmission oil uh, right from the dipstick. So I got about uh, 5 liter uh, with this method. So uh, okay and while I'm at it I'm thinking can it work uh, backwards? why not logically speaking if I put my hair nozzle on the other side pushing hair into this I'm pretty sure how the hair it's gonna put pressure in the air wanna go out and putting back the liquid but I'm gonna need a thing to put the tubing into the oil I never tried it just thought about this right now so if I'm pulling the tubing there I'm gonna get this out a bit Okay, here should be good. And just doing this. Okay, so let's try this. Oh, yeah. Oh, nice.
So there you go. So, uh, I got my hair compressor. I already had a hair nozzle. The only thing I uh, had to buy is this jar and uh, this tubing. I had a couple uh, tubing at home already. So you need two holes, one in, one out. You can uh, you you're using the tubing uh, for the job you're gonna do. Uh, this one here is 38 external diameter, and uh, I took uh, this bigger one. Like I said, uh, you need uh, it got to feel uh, free inside so the hair can come around. That's how I'm vacuuming uh, all the liquids on my truck, almost well at least for uh, transmission and rear diff. Uh, the rear diff, uh, no need to remove the cover, gasket, and everything. Uh, just suck the fluid out and put some new one. No big deal. It's easy and fast. So, I already had an air compressor. I already had an air nozzle. The only thing I had to buy is that jar. I would have liked uh, a metal cover, but there was only uh, with plastic cover, so metal cover are uh, stronger. Plastic, uh, it's working, but you gotta be uh, gentle with the air nozzle. You see it work, it can crack if it's cold outside. So uh, the only thing I had to buy is uh, this this tubing here, clear tubing. It's uh, 3 8 of an inch external diameter. This one is bigger. Uh, you need uh, some room around uh, the hair nozzle for the air to come out. If you block, if I would be uh, using the same diameter, it will block uh, the hair to come out. So it's not going to work. So just drill a hole. And if you want to pump, you push the air out. And as I showed you, uh, you can do the opposite. You can pump fluid or push fluid out of the jar where you want it to go by. Just reverse the process and pushing hair pressure in here so the fluid will come out. So nice and simple. The jar cost me uh, like uh, eight bucks, tubing maybe ten bucks. So it's less than twenty bucks vacuum pump. Pretty cheap. And the most uh, interesting thing is you're building it and you're using it so you get satisfaction. So if you like what you saw, give it a thumbs up, leave me a comment, maybe you can share it. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.